Hi everyone. In December 2022, the Quake Done Quick team released its latest masterpiece, Quake Done Quickest Light. This segmented speedrun through the full game on the easy skill is by far the most optimized Quake project ever released and represents the absolute peak of modern Quake speedrunning. The earliest demos made for the project date back almost 17 years, while the final demo was recorded just days before its release. This project was also one of the reasons I personally got back into Quake after more than a decade, and I really enjoyed being able to play a small part in its production. Since I started this channel, I've had a few requests for group commentaries with the game's players, and I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to try it. The individual runners will always be able to explain their demos in more detail than I can. As you can see by the video's length, if you're looking for a quick summary of the project, then you're in the wrong place. Once we all got together, we couldn't stop talking, and there really is an astonishing amount of detail to cover in a run like this. I was learning something new about almost every single demo. The commentary team, comprising of Chambers, Muti, Joe, Sphere, Brain, and Prasco is about as all-star as it gets in Quake. I've featured all of them on this channel before, and they've each been responsible for some of the game's biggest runs and discoveries over the years. Hopefully this long-form, conversational style will appeal to some of you and give you an insight into the kind of work that goes into a project like this. Thanks for listening, and enjoy. We are recording. And now everybody panics and can't mm -hmm. speak anymore. Right? <laughs> Stage fright. <laughs> so everybody, oh, no. everybody I need to go to the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's the go. Classic. The big one. So it's probably like yeah. the most well-known demo at the moment. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. The car drops video for sure. Yeah, I think yeah. that video is somewhere around 1.6 million views. Damn, yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. But it's, it's pretty special. <laughs> yep. Very fast start. Mm hmm. Definitely time jump. Oh, yeah, the enemies here can be. Just really misses, misses that dog. Yeah. Just barely. Yeah, that's crazy. And doing this while stopping is so hard. Yeah. Yeah, what was it? Seventy thousand attempts, he said. He, yeah. That was his that was his guess. <laughs> guess. Seventy thousand. Crazy. <laughs> <That's just insane. laughs> yeah. That was so crazy. Hard to, so good. What's crazy is like it was made in 2019, and I feel like since then, in general, some of the best B hoppers got even better at uh, power bunnying. Like Juke himself got better at power bunnying, and I don't think he could improve this that much. Yeah. No, I'll even. I mean, what did what's the current raid bell I got a point six nine or something like that, right? Yep, I think um, that's right. That's with with a ten FPS trick. Yeah, he did use True, that. So yeah, that's I don't like, think it was like a thing back here, back uh, this time. Yeah, Wait, it wasn't. really. Wow. That's oh, I didn't know that. It wasn't even. It didn't even exist, or people weren't aware of it back then in yeah. 2019. Oh, I didn't know that. It was like a Half Life discovery, right? Yeah, it came and, over. Uh, hmm. I I think Juke's uh, discovered it. Yeah. Or he was talking about it. Uh, yeah, he was definitely first. talking about it, yeah. Oh yeah, I pointed it out. I came into the Discord, I pointed it out. Yeah. Day, and then Jukespa started experimenting with it, yeah. That's really cool. Something oh, wow. like that. Okay. So something worth mentioning at the start, is he gets like a bug on this ramp. Oh yeah, that's right. You would have like a perfect, like some kind of frame perfect landing there, right? Yeah, so you get the boost on the ramp and the full jump yeah. height, which you can't normally do. Yeah, you're supposed to actually, when you hit a, like a 
down facing ramp, you're supposed to have reduced jump height. Yeah, exactly. Like he, yeah. Like he gets and the normal that... jump height. But when you say a bug, how often, how perfect does the jump have to be? Or is it just random that it just happens sometimes? I think it's very um, perfect. Yeah, like a perfect, perfectly at the bottom. It's a, okay. I think you, you did it on some custom map somewhere, right, Chambers? There's some really? demo of your... I think so. Oh, uh, I think I remember seeing that or reading that from you somewhere. Some giant bunny at oh. the beginning of a custom map run. Maybe it rings a bell. I don't really remember the demo, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. doesn't matter. There's one other place where this happens in, like, uh, in the... You know, non-custom maps, or at least one other place where I notice it sort of commonly is E4 uh, or E2 and 3, I think. Oh, yeah. Like, key, um, right? If you do a grenade jump, yeah, before the key, if you, like, boost yourself, then it's kind of, I don't know, I feel like I get it relatively often. Yeah, I know what you mean, actually. Oh, yeah. But there, it doesn't actually, it kind of, sometimes it messes you up. Like, it messes up your spacing when you get it. But here, it's just perfect. You, okay. You want to yeah. get it, so you grind for it, and it's right at yeah. the start. And you just have to do about a 50 attempts of each of the beginning jump, right, to even start the run. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, my God. Because it's either neat, like, uh, there's, like, that... Uh, arch thing at the start, yeah. Where you can hit your head so easily, and also get the get the ram glitch. Yeah, it's really tricky. And I, I would I would say like when I tried some casual ER attempts, I would get it maybe one out of fifteen attempts, perhaps mm -hmm. like that ram glitch. Okay. Ugh, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I think it's also cool that the solution here is to actually press the button. Like, you you oh, would have the speed. Yeah, you would have the speed to skip the bridge easily. Oh, but yeah, like that's the true. pattern just doesn't line up. Like, you kind of have to go for the button. Yeah. Although it kind of seems unnecessary with the 800 speed that you have here. Yeah. Well, yeah, 700 true. after the turn. But, yeah. yeah, there's even the little wall bump before that, also just to yeah, kind of like right adjust now. the. Yeah. Oh, just to slow you down a tiny bit. Is that is that yeah. deliberate? I don't think it's intentional. I think, I think, I think he like... hits the. Yeah. I think, I think he hits the steps if he doesn't. Okay. This is so oh, uncontrollable. Yeah. I could see this being unintentional because this barrel boost is just so insanely uncontrollable. Yeah, he's mm. going so fast and the air acceleration is really low. Mm. So it's just so hard to turn. Mm. But also, like, the buttons here, it's super hard to, like, hit them at a shallow angle where you keep speed. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You always lose a ton of speed. Yeah, if you hit them too hard. And this turn, this really tight turn. Yeah, and the ah. slope. And he gets oh. a slow boost as well. <laughs> so tight. And another one. So tight. Yeah, that, that's the point where you run out of uh, mousepad space. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the third button. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Very good. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Okay. You went up you two. two. Chambers, what have you got to say about this? Mm. It's a bad demo. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm not really sure what to say about this. This jump here at the, at the start is like brutally. It's so far, man. <laughs> That's a yeah. very humongous bunny, right? Yeah, I tried That's... to aim for this, uh, this little piece of uh, bridge right here. Yeah, yeah. Because it's uh, high high up to land on, I guess. Yeah, I yeah otherwise you get stuck up on the step. Yeah, that's true. Oh, you jump? Do you jump on that the step before the, yeah. the yeah, second spacing. last step? Ah, I didn't realize that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So then here, I can use the the roof to the sloped angle to like oh. be down kind of thing. I didn't realize that either. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And that uh, allows the uh, the ogre to get beat to the side here. Yep. 
Yeah, that whole pattern is pretty amazing. And you jump early there too off that bottom step. Yep. That's actually necessary for yeah. the extra bee hop that's coming yeah. up. How much speed do you need to make it all the way into the key alcove or whatever? I think, 500 apparently. Yeah, I think, <laughs> 512. I think 540 is like the minimal, but you get like a slowdown as well. And you want to be like really close to the edge. Okay. 540, 546. Is that an edge bug or? No. Uh, it's edge friction. Edge friction, sorry, that's my mania. Yeah, yeah it's interesting. Yeah. You're losing You're losing 40. Yeah, yeah, I still yeah. managed to do the jump. It's mostly about the, how far on the edge you land, more than the speed. Yeah. But I think the harder part about this was to turn around here and get yeah. back. Because oh. I tried to do it without stopping, which is really tough. That is so crazy. <laughs> Even the decimals are pretty crazy on this one now. Yeah, it's up to 0.97, I think. Okay. I mean, most of these demos are at 9s or high 8s high or something, aren't they? This is my favorite part. It's coming up. It's like that you're so freaking fast that you actually have to dodge this knight. Yeah, that was one of the issues, actually, with the running this map. Like, this guy was unpredictable and I had to, like, navigate around him. Okay. Nine seven eight. Yeah, the way you guys <clears throat> do those like uh, floor strafing upstairs is still a bit of a mystery to me. I don't, I just can't do that. Mm. It's a technique to it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't mean what else to say. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, yeah, I figure. <laughs> Slow and methodical, I would say. Yeah. And, you, and and low mouse speed, right? So you do pretty wild. Yeah. You move your hand a lot. Yeah. I think that's part of my problem is I have my sensitivity too high. Yep. And that's an amazing demo as well. Uh, I would say with today's power bunny hopping standards, this is the this is the optimal time. Yeah, I, must I don't see and I don't see any room for improvement here. Two twenty six. I think Ray Bell actually has a point six. And he's oh, seven really? point six. Yeah, he gets a boost from the the knight uh, here. From the knight. From this oh, knight. Wow. Yeah. And, he, and, he, and he keeps the speed. Obviously. Exactly. Yeah. It saves him a jump or something? How does it... No, he's just fast okay. to the door. And then... Okay. Yeah, okay. obviously. Well, okay. maybe if you would receive another boost from the grant when you open the door, start uh, entering this area. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, like, good too. But, like, the chance of that is so minimal on easy skill. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. But point six. wow, that's good. Yeah. Man, he's so fast. <laughs> okay, on to E1 and 3, I guess. Mm hmm. Yeah. Probably the most random demo of the bunch. Right. Yeah, zombie. people, yeah, the zombie at the end, people don't maybe realize that the, the, the speed at which the zombie gets trapped here is almost impossibly rare. It never, it never happens this fast. Yeah, exactly. Like, this is the perfect route for the zombie. Yeah, yeah. Like, and it can just take... It can take anywhere from about... Well, how long does it take there? Like, four, three, four seconds, but it can take ten seconds. Yeah, Yeah, that's why I wanted to show it in the recant version, in the movie. Yeah. So that everybody sees that it, the zombie just perfectly walks into the, yeah, the, okay. the trap. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll add that footage then, sure. So at the Even start here, first door is so cool. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, yeah this is this is so good wide. that he going really he, wide to open the door to bunny yeah. straight through. Yeah. Because th this is a slow door. Yeah. Yeah. If you go Normally, in, you, you, you you need to you need to stop and wait until the door is open. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then this as well, the dodge under the kind of ceiling. Yeah. You under the ceiling well. is so tight as well, right? It's just like just gets Oof. through. 
bullets on grenades. Mm hmm. It's like the most spectacular looking trick, but it's probably the easiest thing in the run, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, lands well, right actually, which is pretty good. Yeah, landing right at the door is like pretty tricky. Yeah. Yeah, and also it's, shooting the grenade that blind. I don't know, is it that easy? <laughs> shooting that um, blind? Oh, it's pretty It's pretty reliable. You okay. Kind of, yeah. Maybe being fast enough to the grenade before it explodes. Because he like, barely has time to build up speed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It's problematic if you shoot it too early. That's what you say, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is really cool pretty stuff. nice timing as well. Yeah. <laughs> just as he lands, that's great. And actually, just a trick here too called uh, sharking. I think they call it in Half Life, where you surf the water. Yep. Oh, how does that work? You jump. He's just jumping. Or? Yeah, he holds space and then he like uh, keeps his momentum across the water. For yeah. A oh, I forgot about that. Actually, I pitched that idea too. Did you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You I think I think I think Muti uh, suggested this, don't you? Oh. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, definitely. Like you just hold space when you land, and you sort of bob up and down a bit. Yeah, you might be able to see it like a tiny bit. Yeah. So it's only for a moment, though. Okay. Oh yeah, and this guy... It, it's kind of difficult to like get him to knock down. It's not always guaranteed. But he opens the door for you. And uh, and uh, wait a sec. This this uh, slope jump was a warhawk slope jump, so that it uh, reduces your jumping height, right? True. Yeah. Just here. Oh just yeah. There. yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's also quite tricky. Yeah, that one looks simple, but it's so awkward mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then this zombie just. See it's feeling very friendly. Just, yeah, hey, I'm here immediately. <laughs> Fun fact, I think I have about... I just pulled up my life split just to check. I have 6,600 attempts in full game runs. And I probably did E1M3 about thousand times at least i think maybe like just once i got this zombie pattern okay just, just once out of those really? thousand e one m3s i've done yeah that's unbelievable it's okay incredibly yeah. well, rare. that seems like an authentic rate <laughs> yeah one in a thousand or something like this yeah, yeah. That sounds about right well and yeah the record the individual level like the previous record by marcus was it stood even though it wasn't that much of a perfect run, it stood for ever just because he got such a fast zombie thing. Yeah. Very random up. Yeah. I love how he's uh, actually shooting two grenades to get rid of the scrag, which he doesn't have to, but I think it's like muscle memory because like yeah, Juice used to grind. Hammer. The easy handle, yeah. yeah. Oh, right, yeah. I think he did say that, like, when he posted it. It also looks really cool. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Vasco's swag demo getting contested right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know about that. You haven't seen the E1F6 yet. Oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for that. That's definitely a contender. Nice. Hey. All right. E1M4. This is Joe. Yep. I yep. do. Oh, well, this also so, is. so this route is basically the same as the original Quakedown Quake Dunk Quick Light from the previous project. Um, I believe the route was invented by Peter, probably, but I'm not sure. But uh, most likely, uh, it was him who found yeah. out the idea. To quickly shoot the two buttons in this uh, first uh, uh, first hole, and quickly cut the yellow armor, and uh, mm. so having the yellow armor uh, makes it possible to survive yeah. a lot of a lot of 
any of the rocket jumps in this and the upcoming E1M5 level. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this yeah. additional uh, grenade boost here, not this one, but the previous one, uh, was added to save the time back. Uh, now that we this are on here, yeah. yeah, yeah, this one here, this one here, because because in the in the, in the original route, uh, the player was swimming in the water, which takes a lot of time. Yeah, but uh, but uh, without armor, uh, the the damage would have been so big that. Uh, maybe uh, he most the player would have most likely survived this uh, secondary jump, but like ended up with very low health. And yeah. uh, on E1 on E1 M5 uh, without armor, you you most likely could never get uh, 13 seconds. Or I'm not sure. Yeah. No, okay, so, so many cool so. tricks in a row, like the the big grenade yes. jump. Yeah. So the the pre-firing the grenade was my idea. It's very smart. Nice. Uh, because I had uh, a lot of problems with this night here. Because uh, <clears throat> you get stuck by the, the elevator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because in this demo, it's not visible because uh, the grenade damaged the night. Uh, um, uh, no. That actually juped it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why it doesn't yeah. get stuck. No, no. It's really small. Uh, uh, the the grenade just damaged it, but the 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 lowering platform jibbed it. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. But, uh, oh, so it does. So the platform doesn't get stuck on the knife. Uh, yeah, yeah, it always yeah. gets stuck on it here, and then you hit the because wall. Because the platform does does get stuck and make mm -hmm. this uh, it coming out as soon as possible to to yeah. catch the grenade explosion was uh, uh. was almost impossible uh, when the when the platform gets stuck. And it was it was enough to to just damage the night, or in other occasions the the grenade. When I was lucky, it killed it entirely, so mm -hmm, there was no mm -hmm. problem with it. And the, the hard part is this one here. Oh yeah, this is insane. Because this is a quick movement to 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 shoot the night to get uh, to to get stunned, and also I have to. Uh, I have to get the proper animation here, <laughs> because in a other occasion, I don't know the percentage of this, but it's uh, really low, like 10 or 20 percent, because in other occasions with other animations, he, he just uh, continue running towards you. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, you need, okay, you need that specific one. Yeah, and, 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 and if he continued running uh, towards you, that means that you, 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 you couldn't even go, go through the that small passage here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And the round was over. Isn't like the uh, armor you exit with also like perfect for the next level? Like if you had taken yeah. one HP more, it would have... Uh, yeah, would 60, have 60 armor was the minimum, I, I think. That's oh, crazy. Really? Uh, that's cool. Yeah, uh, yes, because uh, I ended the level with uh, one health on E1 and 5, I, I think so. Yeah. Nice. So cool. But it, uh, otherwise, it's just an ordinary demo. Point nine four. Yeah. Okay. And then you will end. This is the next one. This is your little pair of demos. E one M five. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, so this is also well, not much route changing here. Uh, expect except the the chamber boost here. In the, in the previous project, uh, there was the same amount of boosts, but uh, the level ended with an additional rocket boost down the down the tunnel. But the problem, uh, oh, okay, uh, let me start at the uh, how I figured out this route because I started off with this level. I knew that uh, on Eve, E1 M4, uh, a 12 second run would be possible, but with less armor. So uh, I had to figure out what to do, how to achieve the same 13 second run here, if I start with a lot less yellow armor. Because uh, in the previous Quake and Quick Slide project, there was this granite jump here, which I yeah. just performed, this rocket jump here, and uh, the player had, did have enough health to perform a boost here down the tunnel. Oh, really? That that meant uh, to save uh, that much time to to reach the 13 seconds. But uh, okay, 
But I figured out that uh, a 13 second run could be possible also with starting uh, less yellow armor by adding a boost of the Shambler. Because uh, if, I, uh, if I'm adding a boost of the Shambler uh, during the route coming out of that room, I can pick up these two uh, 25 uh, boxes here. Okay. Uh, Oh, nice. Okay. No, only... Oh, no, I, I picked up both of them. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't remember. Yeah. So I, I was able to fill up my health back to 100 and one armor point. <laughs> but yeah. still, I, still, I have to be very careful with this rocket jump here. Yeah. Yeah, you land... You, it's, you finish the map with one HP, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> that's a 48 damage rocket jump. Yeah, you actually... Is, I think that's the lowest. To, to make it up to that ledge. Yeah. Um, I would argue with that, I think. <laughs> mm, I'm not uh, exactly sure about numbers, but... Uh, well, it's tied anyway. I mean, it's lowest... Low. Quite tied, yeah. yeah. Maybe Marcus, in his uh, previous E1M5 easy run, the 17.999, is doing it with even less. But I'm not sure. Because he... Right. Point He's nine, nine, nine. As he does that jump without the one uh, armor point, and he still ends up uh, going to the up level with 6 HP. So he receives uh, one damage less. One damage point less. I don't yeah. know the, the, the exact uh, parting, like uh, the amount of the granite jump and the amount of the rocket jump. But it's possible to, to do the rocket and granite jumps with one uh, HP less. Okay, yeah, that's cool. So the big invention here was this one. Yeah. Uh, the boost of the Shambler and keeping the speed as much as possible because I did not use power bunnies, of course. <laughs> I <don't>... Understandable. So I... <laughs> Nice. Yeah, this uh, the last rocket jump looks so so tight. Like yeah, yeah, it's just really nice. it was. Tight. It was very cool. Yep, amazing. You went up six okay. by color. I need to. I need to dip now. I might be back later. Alright, see you. See you. Bye, Preston. No, oh, the Swagger's demo of the run, right? <laughs> well... <laughs> now that Prasco's gone, now, yeah. yeah Prasco's gone. Now that he's gone, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, there's nothing really to say. We couldn't improve this um, from the previous project. Was that the only level that we couldn't improve? No, this and E1M7 no. and... There might be a couple of those. Oh, E2M1, right? Oh, yeah, E2M1. Uh, unfortunately, not much to say about E1M6 and E1M7 because they are so short compared to the previous project. Right? Yeah. 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 But, but, I, still, but, you, I, but, but I do remember that Martin's run was 8.96 and you did an 8.91, so you, you, you saved 5,000 of a second here. Yeah, well, I'm very happy I was able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I did look at the tab, the. Uh, Taz run by Jixfer, like where he does three, he does an extra rocket jump, but they're all really low damage and or it's impossible. I just couldn't even get close to uh, saving a whole second with that strategy. So I just did this silly backwards rocket jump just to for the, for the swag, for the entertainment value. I love it. Yeah, it's, like... it's very cool. By the way, is it faster? Actually, like because it. you don't have to turn around to like. It is back. actually. I feel like it almost is. You could have even faster. killed the ogre. <laughs> True. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Just one shot here, bang. But actually, just at the very beginning, like the, I find it. Well, when I was trying, I actually ended up finding this strat to be a little easier with the very first boost because you're just standing that way. Um, you don't have to kind of turn around and shoot backwards. You just, you're sort of already in position to shoot that first rocket. Yeah. yeah. Also, this yeah, guy, it's... you need like the perfect stun, right? 
Oh, you do. Yeah, you need to hit him. That's another. What is it? One in five or something? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think less than one, less than twenty percent. Yeah. And oh, again, yeah. so this door too is really finicky. Yeah, you have to hit. You have to not touch the walls at all. Not not bump anything because yeah. Like, yeah, it slows you down. That's pretty uh, it's, tight. But, yeah, it's pretty yeah. precise. Yeah, but nothing really new or earth shattering on this run. Okay. Chambers demo. Yes. yes. I mean, everyone can do an 11 second run here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but not everyone can do an 11 point what? Five. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly. pretty fast. I'm just kidding. It's all good. Yeah, I tried to optimize it as best I could, like firing the rocket backwards here for like a bit yeah. of extra forward momentum. You, barely you, you don't, you don't even fall to the bottom of this. Like yeah, true, I do it from the first step. It's like slightly yes. earlier. Yeah, perfectly, perfect height for the buttons, pretty much. Yeah. And then do you touch the... the... I mean, I don't know how to say that. Uh, because you add these pre strafes here to uh, to enter as quickly as possible. Oh, yeah, the ground. I skipped the ground. Uh, do you? Yeah. yeah. Have you skipped the ground? Yeah, I don't touch the ground. Yeah, that's cool. On the little lowering bar, you don't actually touch that at all, right? Yeah, that's uh, why it's so low, I think. Yeah, yeah it's, un it's unfortunate that it's unfortunate that we can, we cannot save a full second here. Yeah. Yeah. But it that little is. yeah, sailing through that little section without landing on the on the lowering bar, that's really cool. If they designed the tunnel a bit wider, we could have done a curl in it. True. <laughs> we yeah. closer to oh, the yeah. <laughs> But yeah, of course, oh, yeah, like the one on E1 Yeah, exactly. Uh, like e in E1 M5, it's possible to add a little curl there. Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, that's episode one. Uh, should I go to the egg demos real quick? Because I wanted to touch up upon the E1 M3 a bit. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah if, you, if you've got some, yeah, what have you, what do you have? I wanted to talk about the torch skip. Oh, yes. Oh, God. Here. This is so good. Yeah, but it's so hard, and then on top of that, you have to get yeah. the perfect zombie stuff later. Just like a yeah. one in the Right. But in theory, this could push the record down another second. That is a Definitely. crazy jump. What yeah. is that but, jump? But this, ju this jump is just extremely hard. Oh, <laughs> yeah. so come fun. on. And mainly because the torch is so small, right? Yeah, and there's a lot of edge friction as well. You get such yeah. a big yeah, slowdown. Yeah, of course, of course. And you actually have to build speed oh my God. while you, you, you don't actually have any space yeah. to build speed. Yeah. Do you lose a lot because of this? Yeah, what does the what does the speedometer say? How much do you actually lose? Like Oof, quite six. Oh, yeah. Big one. Yeah. yeah. But Duke did come That's... up with a new strat for this. Um where we do another grenade boost. Ah. But we didn't end up using this because uh we took so much damage and it obviously uh, affected yeah. the next run. That's also really sick though. Like, That's so cool. I've never seen that. Uh, it uh, wouldn't have Throwing a grenade from here. Oh my god. Why, why, would it, why was it too much damage? I think we'd end For on the like next map? 70 or something. Because you got the 225, so you have 20. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, I remember. I have to pick up. Uh, it, it needs to start with more health, yeah. Yeah, you collect the, the, the end of the health level. boxes, right? While he yeah, at the end of the level. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's only 15 and the 25 there. Uh, yeah, 15 and 25, there's only 40 plus available. It's not enough. Yeah. Okay, yeah. There's also Joe's E105 bonus that you shared with us the other day. 
Oh, yeah, man, this is great. I would say a drastic run is possible. Yeah. Early. Ah, that's, that trick is amazing. <laughs> yeah. I'm one HP of that. <laughs> yeah, that. And. Yeah, this is just. I, and I did this in 2002. I, I didn't even remember. Wow. This <laughs> that's so cool. Crazy. It's a shame we need the green boost. And a, like, that's. Oh, oh my the god. <laughs> With the 360. You did a 360. <laughs> So cool. Wee. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately with this route it's impossible to do anything on the the rest of the levels without the rocket launcher. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we need the we need the rocket launcher for the rest, yeah. Yeah. But 45 F. That's fast, man. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Nice. Okay, on 2e2. Yeah, those are pretty good bunnies. I mean, who's this guy? Yeah, who does he yeah, think exactly. he is? Hmm. Uh, I don't really know what to say about this. Um, I guess this is like the newest routes. Like, this wasn't done before. Was this run already beaten by one uh, thousand of a second? Yeah, it is now by uh, Red Bell. Okay, it's 7.15? Yes, I think so. Okay. It's a shame that it can go as low as 6. Yeah, it's not possible yet, unfortunately. Maybe you could do it with console pull down, but that doesn't... I For is some I reason that is... <laughs> now it's considered as a cheat, but I don't know why. I mean, the engine provides it, so I don't know why. Is, why was that a problem? But Nolan informed me back in the days that it's considered as a cheat, so I wasn't able to do it yeah. to use it anymore. Even though I didn't even know about that, I just used that technique because I didn't know that. Uh, uh, Pushing the button before starting the record already gives you the same, uh, uh, the same technique to, st to start uh, moving on the first frame. All oh, right. Interesting. Hmm. But if you pull down the console, the timer starts with one point two nine 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 nine. Oh, really? Like you can save a tenth there. Huh. Yeah. I didn't know that, actually. I didn't know that either. The chamber is about to get six on E2 on one ER. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> uh, and, it's, uh, no, and it's also so disturbing to to hit the console and to pull it yeah. uh, pull it up all the time. Can you bind it, it to a different to a mouse button or something, maybe? Yeah. But you still have to push another key mm. for start moving. Yeah, it's not really much to say about this uh, demo, it's just, uh, yeah. just bunnies. <coughs> Star jump was really Get a lot of speed off this platform. Otherwise, and you intentionally just... bump, bump your head, right? A tiny bit, yeah. 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 But in like, the, uh, the Nightmare Run, I, I hit it a lot more, because I could get a boost and still make the pattern work. Nah. Connor explained it in his video. Yeah. Pretty much, I think. I mean, going through the middle window was something you came up with, right? Uh, yeah, it was. I don't think anyone before that did that. Yeah, I, th I mean, yeah. it's kind of like thinking outside the box. Like, it seems like a detour somehow, but. Yeah, but you still yeah, go straight. Right the end. You still yeah. go straight, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, another issue was uh, jumping too close to this thing, and then uh, you would obviously yeah. hit your legs before you go over it. Yeah. Yep, that's pretty much yeah, it. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. 
two M two. This is one of my favorite demos ever. This is just this is yeah. madness. It might be one of my best demos. That boost. This shouldn't have worked as well as it did, to be honest. <laughs> like I, I, I had so much luck at the start. I never had that in the whole time I was playing uh, practice runs with safe states. Okay. You mean like with the speed that you the the speed from the yoga grenade or or other stuff as well? Pretty much everything up until the Gorky door. I've yeah. I've never been that fast there before. Okay. And you still managed to like time. save the run. Yeah. So I got a boost here from this guy. Yeah, that's right. Which was uncommon, but it still happened occasionally. Yeah. Taking this corner really well. I lost a lot of speed though. Yeah. I mean, you gotta, like, yeah. <laughs> there's no way. Pretty much. But then this yeah. guy... and this is... Yeah. This guy can fire late. So usually you have to wait here for him to fire because of how far he turns before he has to shoot. But he's looking, like, at the perfect spot, so he shoots, like, instantly. And you received the boost perfectly. Yeah, I never had a boost like this before. Like, he hits me, like, almost dead on. Yeah. But my plan before was to like curl into the grenade, so it hits me from behind, kind of. Yeah, and you just never get this kind of speed no. going the opposite direction, like against the direction of the grenade, yeah, getting must... that boosted that fast. That you just must... never happens. You must it went me, like... from four four hundred seventy to six hundred and eleven. Yeah, it's crazy. That is just yeah. I wonder actually. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, it hits me like I have no player back. texture. I don't know why that is. Some yeah, somehow it hits you behind you almost. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna stun here just so it doesn't block. Yeah, and then you keep the speed the whole way. Yep. This guy would sometimes live. Oh yeah, his yeah. hitbox kind of lingers. Oh yeah, the lingering hitbox. So you have to oh, shoot him pretty quick. Such a headache. Yeah, this this part is is just crazy hard. Yeah, and then the I mean, hard and box. I did a little trick here, jumping to avoid uh, the slowdown from the edge. Oh okay. So you pre strafe jump, hit my head. He also got down quicker as well because he hit your head on the roof. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. It's quite a neat, neat trick. <coughs> and of course, you want to hit the, hit the button late. Not early, otherwise uh, this wall goes all the way up. Yeah. And it takes longer to come down. Which is something I don't think a lot of uh, people knew. Uh, getting into quick. Yeah, I think I can take credit for that one. Yeah, I think you can actually. It was uh, one of Jukebox uh, videos I think you commented on. And of course, the Fiend boost. It's fast. Yeah, yeah, after fiend. all of this, after every trick you've done so far, you still have to do this. Yeah, oh, don't fail this one. <laughs> So I hate this trick so much. Yeah, it's pretty hard. So I shoot my gun to aggro the fiend. I walk forward to activate the bridge, and then perfectly time the fiend to jump. Boom! Yep. Bang! And then boost. all these stairs as well. You don't. You don't. You can't get stuck on any of these. Yeah, stairs. I had to like. Judge, you never get like the same speed or height from this guy, so I had to like judge where I wanted to land here. So I kind of redirect yeah. myself right here. Yeah, there's so many things that can go wrong with that fiend boost. Like sometimes uh, when you have to activate the bridge, and sometimes you just run off <laughs> completely, like onto yeah. the bridge, you yeah. fall off. And yeah, have you, can... you tried to do this record, Muti? Uh, no, I was actually, I just had to use this uh, trick to, uh, like, this whole route for my uh, episode grinds. I did some episode two marathons. Oh, right, yeah. okay, for the single episodes. Yeah. Yep. 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 For practice you... purposes. 
Ambus, do you remember how Jukespa did this level on on the test run? I he, sli don't he, he slid really. off the he slid off oh, the, yeah, you're right. the the this guy the top the of the fiend. Yeah, to I reach the other platform. That's not viable though, is it? Like he uses like FPS trickery as well to maybe be able to do it. Maybe, maybe yeah. I don't know. I just remember that it was mind blowing. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, and then all of these as well. There's all those ledges, the little <laughs> lips on the stairs. Yeah. Every single one of those can make can ruin the run if you get stuck on them. It was mainly this guy though. Like, if I killed him. Oh yeah. Because I'm so far away with the super dragon. Okay. Fun fact: I remember I watched this live on Twitch. Yeah, I did <laughs> because see Chamber that. streamed it, and. Uh... <laughs> He was watch he was watching the timer when he and and when he go went outside, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's why that that's why you you didn't. Uh, I mean, it was, it's, you still got the record. Yeah, I got stuck at the door, right? Yeah, you stuck a little bit at the at the end of the door. So you couldn't believe how fast it was. You were checking yeah. the timer. Yeah, yeah, you were you were watching the timer. I tried to like uh, hit this ramp from the side. It's kind of a stupid idea, to be honest. I tried to hit it like shallow, so I land earlier. Okay. And then I end up uh, going way too wide. Yeah, I mean, we're talking a split second, but yeah, yeah. No, that 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 demo is really one of the best ever. Thank you. <laughs> I think a twenty-six could be possible, but it's just so mm. insane. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Awesome. E three M three. Mm-hmm. Two M three. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a good grenade shot. Yep. So you could easily improve my previous record from here because I had the, the sixteen second run in the previous project. Okay. But a 15 was obviously possible just by today's standards, but the, to, to achieve the 14, that, that's a very interesting, uh, I would say, root change there to go to the inside of the, of the ogre. I don't know how, uh, who, found, who founded that trick. It was Maybe me. Jukebox? Or, or you, Chambers. Yeah. yeah. This thing here. Oh, I suggested it. This, 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 yes. This yeah, here. Okay. And, and the immediate throwing of the grenade. Like yeah, blind, yeah, blindly. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. You just blink and you miss it. Also, the space in here was important. He uses the ramp to land. Yeah. Early. You have to use the ramp, and then okay. he has the perfect spacing to to jump here. Otherwise, you'd over jump it. Okay. And two really well timed. That's a good shot as well, it's, isn't it? Up off the wall. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, and he immediately start uh, strafing. I mean, bunny hopping here. Yep. Don't, don't even wait for the <laughs> for, for the, the door. door. To open. <laughs> I think the idea was to boost up this guy, right? From but, the ogre. Yeah, but we ended up doing it without. Yeah. Because he wanted to save health to E to M4, I think. Yeah, it makes mm -hmm. sense. But I remember he he got a fifteen point zero zero here, and he just uh, fed up with the level and returned to uh, grinding it again after like two weeks. Yeah, okay. I actually got the uh, the egg demo. So we got a fifteen point zero zero, and then a fourteen point nine nine. Oh. Yes, exactly, exactly. And <laughs> I I assume that both demos have the same amount of frames. Right. Yeah. Of course. It's just a coincidence. Yeah. This is the 15, right? Yeah, he yeah. uses the boost here too. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh. Even, even more oh. painful. Oh, yeah. oh. triple zero. Oh. Okay, a triple zero. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's mad, guys. Ouch. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. It happens. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. Two, two, four. Sure. Sploosh. This is yep. Duke as well, right? Yep. Yeah. 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 Lots of swimming. Yep. That's some very cool wipers. Oof. Three, six, eight, five. Easy. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> I want to shout out my boy, Kainalo, for turning this to sploosh. True. <laughs> <laughs> what did you already call it, uh, sploosh, back in the day? I'm not sure, actually. Yeah, I, think, uh, I think it was Kainalo. Yeah, in my opinion. Okay, so basically, the previous record here was 39 from Peter, who uh, added two different uh, rocket boosts here, like yeah. one smaller boost to the to the platform. Oh yeah, uh, to, you're the, right. to that to that platform uh, on which the lift brings you, and uh, <clears throat> and added another. Yeah, he lands right uh, here and then boosts again. Yeah, he landed right wall. here and mm. added another rocket boost there. But mm. as I as I remember, I found out that this huge rocket uh, boost here is possible, and I improved Sergi's 40 second run to 39, uh, the, the from scratch demo on SDA, and then it became the standard. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Wow. Yes, yeah, so let's talk about this, uh, this boost here. I, I like how he's kind of. S oh, here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he shoots in front of him to negate his speed so he can get higher, I guess. I, yeah. I have to step in and say that this is actually not the optimal way of doing this anymore. Yeah. Yeah, you've beaten this. Or no, wait, you've... Uh... I have the IO record where yeah. I do something <laughs> absolutely crazy. Yeah, you grab these uh, health kits early, right? Early, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. You do it in midair. That's right. From like, right... Here. From down here. Yeah. Then I forget. Boost here and then grab those on the side. What? I didn't even catch that. He, yeah, those health packs that he just grabbed wow. there, he gets them first, like with uh, as part of the first wow. big rocket jump. Yeah. Yeah. So but even say with a that, second this one? Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I think, I feel like. <laughs> Well, maybe with, I don't know, if Chambers had a crack at it, maybe he could do a 35? No, I don't know about that. You'll be the guy uh. to do it. If anyone. I like the way before that, that big rocket boost, um, not this one, but the one uh, to the P area, he kind of slides down the stairs oh, rather true. than bunnying. Like, just there. Yeah. This is like that's just like, he's just sliding there, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is one of, the, this is like Juke's bread and butter on this map. He's always doing that. Like if okay. you watch him do full game attempts, you would always see him sliding down those okay. stairs. Yeah. You do that in your demo too, right? In your single level record? N nope. I actually, uh, I use something different. There's like okay. an arch before the stairs there. You see, oh, there's really? the arch, yeah. and I bumped my head on that. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Oh, wow. That's quite cool. I think That's in, like... Is... I think in 2019 or, like, 2020, around that time, like, Maxim pointed out, like, hey, you can activate this uh, button here on the wall with the rocket's splash damage, and... I think this was a known trick, right? It's just we weren't. I knew using about it. it. Yeah. It's just yeah, I don't know. It wasn't really just... used, yeah. Um I did like a stupid like host frame rate uh, run on the whole thing where I used what I used that. Oh yeah. 
Oh. Yep. It's also quite random though, like the timing, because uh, there's no wall behind the door. Like the button is inside this moving wall, so you can't shoot it early. It has to be visible at some point. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, and of course the the nail gun tricks at the end. That's that's sort of sharp shooting. Yeah. Just a it's... tiny bit of optimization. Boom. 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 And then shotgun for the end. That's so it's, cool. It's <laughs> that's so yeah. cool. Jukes TF2 experience coming into play, I guess. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a good trick. Good run. Very nice. One day, perhaps a thirty-five. Yeah. Yeah. yeah maybe. maybe. We'll see. This still holy. Yep. That jump there is. There's actually a new strat that was found recently. Yeah. To skip yeah. this uh, trap, I guess you call it. Some yeah, with the frame rate rate stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's really hard though, I don't think anyone's really properly done it in a run yet. I s I've seen Kisimov was trying it, but it's so random and it's so hard. And yeah. Maybe it's think not he only got it from time. saves. So yeah, exactly. Far. But yeah, that'll theoretically save how? like a good few seconds, Yeah, right? like three or four. Quite a few. Yeah, but you have to like be on this corner and then hit the button while I'm moving backwards. Yeah, on your way out, you have to hit the button, right? Yeah. Like while while yeah. being boosted. Exactly. And FPS tricks, of course. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be the biggest time save we know of in this whole project. Yep. If you could add it. It would also save on armor and health, which we could then use elsewhere. True, yeah. You could then rocket boost for the rest of the map, couldn't you? Be able to add a few extras. Yeah, like this boost is really tight, but you could definitely yeah. like, maybe make it all the way there in one jump. Yeah. And maybe even, yeah, off, off of uh, the wall here, like at the gold key, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At least you can definitely do it faster. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Although he does, this bunny sequence is pretty great already. He does oh, yeah, yeah. the speed the whole way through these tiny walls and everything. Especially with the yoga here, he's so random. Yeah. He needs yeah. to be where he is now. Yeah. This part is mainly the, the most uh, time save over the previous record. Yeah, hitting the, bumping the roof twice there. In the previous project, uh, 24 was done by me. <laughs> so this is 23. And uh, yeah, Jukebox just saved it with better bunnies. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, no strat change. You also get the boost here. It's a boost here, right? Uh, from the fiend. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, he does. Oh, it's only yeah. twenty-one though. And probably he also do the the slow bracket jump at the beginning faster. Yeah, he does it even without oh. landing. Really, like, I mean. Yeah. With, assume, without without yeah. without hesitating. Yeah. 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 This is pretty crazy. How quick That's this is. Good. Very nice. And you use zigzagging. Zigzagging, is that the only, that's probably the only bit of zigzagging in this whole run, right? Maybe, actually. If there was a little room for it, Jukebox always can use this. Yeah, that's true. Whereas we'd use, I usually use the, uh, the ground strafing technique. Yeah. 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 Which is which is faster now, isn't it? The way you guys can do ground strafes is faster than maybe. Yeah. maybe. I think I, I would say it's the same. Really. Oh really? I would say the same in pace, yeah. Okay. I mean, you did see like a, a wider line instead of more direct. 
But the ground strafing thing is actually like better if you eventually have to perform like a, a pre strafe into a jump. Uh, yeah, it is better for that zigzagging, not so much. Yeah. You sort of can you your last ground strafe can be your pre strafe for the jump. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Kind of depends on the situation, I guess, which is uh, preferred. I think he also gets a slope boost uh, at the spot where he kills the fiend, like here. Oh yeah. True, yeah, he does. Just a tiny bit. The collision here also is like very finicky. Oh, you yeah, can just get roof. stuck basically anywhere. The roof yeah. is a nightmare. Yeah. Sorry about that. Have to go kind of wide there. Oh, he bumps his very head there wide. too, right? Uh, I don't think oh, so. Oh no. no, 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 I'm wrong. Not. And the spacing here is like very critical. Yeah, mm. the issue here with like, the crazy. roof is like this part, and then again at this part. So you want to go wide and then wide. Yeah, again. it it feels like you're getting stuck on nothing. Yeah, just geometry issues. <laughs> Like, if you visualize the depth hole, you would just see, like, giant spikes sticking out of the roof. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Uh, guys, I need to take care of kids. The kids uh, a little bit. So no I will come. I, I will come back uh, at least to episode four. I, I remain here, just silent. Okay. 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 No okay. 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 No worries. Okay. Thanks. All right. Well, how are you guys feeling? We could even uh, we could do each M two M six and take a break or something, or should we just keep going? Mm. Uh, I probably have to go after E two M six. Okay. Okay. Let's do okay. E two M six then. Right. I guess. So, um, I have to hit that uh, like elevator trigger as early as possible, and then the rest of the map is pretty much uh, auto scroller. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Yeah. So I want Until to hit that. I want to hit that elevator quite as, uh, quite early as well, because all of these are like, like yeah, right? yeah, like. They're all like cycles that are like critical to each other, basically. And then uh, I do the LG trick, which is super easy. You just shoot there and boom. Yeah. <laughs> Silly kill count to go up uh, and stop right. Yeah, exactly. You just aim for the spot and uh, you get it, basically. It looks magic. way harder than it is, and it doesn't probably doesn't look hard either. <laughs> but you know, um, and then I uh, go down there to kill uh, the stuff, and then uh, set up. And I look at the thing on the wall to start their like jumping there. I wondered about that whether it was a visual thing or a, or a yeah time. I, a yeah it, cute. Nah, I uh, look at the uh, like wall going down as a visual cue to when to start jumping. Okay. Yeah. Like these little things here. Oh, what the hell's going on with the lightning? <laughs> <laughs> um, the lightning gun has something to say. Oh yeah, when oh, there's wow. like... What the... Nice effect. <laughs> uh... Yeah. Yeah, we have to be some of them. <laughs> yeah, sure. I, rem that's I also, remember. That's also yeah. That's a cool boost too. This very at the very beginning, the double boost there. Yeah, I think we yeah. wanted to try and skip a jump here, right? Yeah, but I don't think that's really feasible with the physics because uh, because uh, you end up getting fucked by edge friction. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
It could be possible, maybe, but... Like, so uh, to just jump straight to the exit area, rather than bunnying off the pillar, or the little bridge. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, both of those boosts, like, they're both really low damage boosts at the start, right? Yeah. Very low damage. And uh, also, that they're... They're also very, like, low um, height boosts as well, because yeah. of the, um, you just don't get through. Yeah. That's cool. You told me something about when you were grinding for this demo that you actually had to match the tasks in terms of the, to the seconds. Nah, that, that was the plan to, like, uh, to get oh. it to 110, which is the task. Yeah. But that obviously didn't, uh, that obviously didn't happen. Yeah, we so, uh, start, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, effectively, this map is a 10 or, you know, 11 second map. I think the task yeah. also does, like, a double boost at the end. Yeah. Might be a tiny bit faster, but the, the way you did the, uh, B-hop into boosts might be... About equal, oh, the Taz is with a grenade first or something as well? Grenade yeah. and rocket? Yeah. It does a grenade, rocket, and a, a, pre, a pre jump. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't really get a good, uh, good setup for that. Uh, so I was like, I'll just get uh, like a flashy enough uh, demo. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The timing there is amazing. The timing is so good, yeah. yeah wow, perfect. that's so good. I love it. <laughs> I actually have the, uh, the egg demos, which I'll show off real quick. So there's the task. task skip. Was, the idea was to jump off this gate and avoid hitting your head if you're fast enough. Oh, can you actually do that? Oh, if you're fast enough, you can. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I think we've done it uh, like properly yet. Oh, holy crap. That's not strafe, man. Freaking task. Yep. He's just using a joystick. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could do that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, just... Become... Just wiggle the vec... joystick around, you know? Yeah, just become a vectorial strafing <laughs> god. <laughs> Jeez. Maybe seriously, we talk like we laugh, but maybe that's how someone's gonna get. I don't know, E two M one in six seconds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like when, like when Tetris players started hyper tapping, like yeah, all the the young kids on the block, yeah, and, and it was just dominated by sixteen year olds. And maybe yep. Quake, Quake is set heading in the same direction because like that's right. <laughs> and we'll all be we'll all yeah. be the grumpy old men who are like back in my day you didn't use these techniques and yeah back in my day we used keyboard and mouse that's right <laughs> exactly and, maybe and, and then, keyboard only if you were nolan i guess yeah, yeah. And, then, and then you know like you know like in uh like css or whatever in um in like uh, 10 years or something in like B normal B hop everyone just abandons keyboard and mouse for the clearly superior joystick gameplay yep yep <laughs> it's evolution man or the steering <laughs> wheel yeah. so this is the closest this is the closest we got to making this boost i guess Oh, this is non-Taz, okay, yeah. Oh, oh that's very oh. close. Oh. Oh. If only you could bend your knees. Quick guy. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Crouch. Close. Okay. Like in Half-Life. Exactly. Yeah. For Quake 2. So close. But yeah, even so, action you'd be quake. too fast, I think. You'd have to, like, action walk quake? off. Wait, can you actually crouch in Action Quake? Uh, yeah, but you can't, uh, like, Half-Life crouch, uh, okay, it just, okay. uh, ducks your head down, uh, not your feet up. Uh, unlucky. Yeah. Um, I know there is someone who, like, uh, I know a guy who, um, tried to make uh, crouch work like that in his, uh, Quick 3 mod. And he got pretty close, actually. 
I think it might be the biggest time save. And that was because of the Algae lightning bug. gun bug. Yeah, okay, killing the war at the end. Yeah, which originally was found by Elder, the Elder, in 2016. With like a okay. different setup that was a bit more complicated. You had to like, you had to use look strafe. Is that what it is? Like yeah, you move the mouse. Yeah, exactly. You moved your mouse to move to the side a bit. That's a pretty intricate setup. It was so okay. funny. Yeah, that's, that's the way he did it, and it was pretty. I mean, it was mind blowing to us at the time. We were like, dude, <laughs> can't just find new strats in Quake. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> What is what is his what game is he used to play? Just mostly uh, Hexen all, all Two now. Stuff. I think. Yeah, Hexen Two he played. I think Return to Castle, Ooh. Wolfenstein, like okay. all kinds of random FPS games. Oh, okay, okay. Nice. Classic Finnish, Finnish dude playing FPS games. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, but he found that setup, and then we like changed it a bit to be this much easier one where you just stand in the corner and aim at yeah. this specific spot here. Just for okay. that, uh, yeah. that white mark there. Right there. Uh, that one, okay. Yeah. yeah. And it's easy. Nice! Okay. E3, um... Wait, what the hell? <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> I was in the mass hold for some reason. Oh, three yeah. on one, there we go. By some guy. Some random guy. Who? Who? <laughs> how did you. How did. What just happened then? How did you get across that ledge? Oh my god. Just doing it sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I struggled with getting 20 on this map. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. But the trick was to jump here, which I didn't do before. Yeah. Like the same deal as E2M2. Build up speed and jump to avoid uh, the slowdown from walking off this edge. That's saving me like two tenths. Which is a nightmare doing here because, like, look, you have a roof there and that lamp. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to try and land far back on the elevator, and then try and time it. And I'll do like a continuous bunny hop kind of thing. Mm. So cool. And then this grunt boost. Yep, this is also necessary. A tribute to Marcus. Yeah. yeah. Bang. And then I did a b-hop here. I can't you... believe you kept speed there, exactly, after yeah. that grunt boost. The initial idea was to keep the bunny all the way up to the elevator, but it was too hard. Okay. So I just did one jump, landed, and I just did a pre shrift Yeah. Maybe an FES trick. I think I think an FES trick this, also. And some really clean uh, movement here. That whole sequence is crazy, the movement there. Landing on the third step without getting stuck. Yeah, perfect. Wall straight, I mean, yeah, like, what do you call it? Wall straight, wall. Wall straight. Hugging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I hold the W for the strafe to get an angle. Oh, I love this. Yeah. This guy. My Quake World Strats, I love it. <laughs> what? Say that again? What do you do? I hold W along with the strafe key, so I get a, a better a better angle to shoot this guy. Oh, because you don't curl. Yeah, I see. Oh, I didn't really... Yeah, okay. Yeah, otherwise I'd have to, like, flick uh, to shoot him. It's kind of common in Quake World, because they're... I mean, it's obviously more about shooting people, so they kind of do the strafing, so they kind of shoot where they're going more. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. funny it's thing, so like... The like the run is so fast up to this point, you can actually like dodge the enforcer there. Like it's yeah, it's really random. Oh, yeah. though. Like a lot of times, he would aggro early and uh, run towards me, and, uh, and yeah, to get past. well, a funny thing. I actually know why it aggro's too fast because you're you're so fast here as well with this soldier because you you kill it so quick and you get here so fast that 
you know, the way that enemy aggroing works when you shoot your gun, it's like the enemy still hears you shooting your gun. Yeah. It's like still in, like, you know, it's in the right, like it's hearing range. Yeah. Kind of the AI is still checking. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Range. The AI is still doing the check. Yeah. That's why I shoot it here. Usually, mm-hmm. I don't think you need to shoot it, but like, I get stunned. So it increases the chances of me getting past, I guess. No, it's not really necessary. Yeah, it makes sense. Also, more time the more time jump here. Yeah, I know. Also, yeah, the timing of this is crucial. Yeah, because you can get stuck on that roof there. You get and stuck on guys, everything. These guys too. If you don't kill them fast enough. Which is a nightmare because you have to use the super shotgun to kill them, and if uh, you have a bad spread, it's over. Yep. So it's a very, it's like perfect timing. Not too early, but not too late. Mm hmm. Very nice. Yeah. And that was, what, how much of an improvement was that? A second, I think. Just one sure. second, yeah. One second over my demo. Um, I don't really know what the. Actually, no, it's a three second improvement. From the original, I was going to say, from, yeah, from, from like, the rabbit run. Yeah, yeah I think from the rabbit run it is. Mm, must be the map. Remember, I was working really hard uh, at ESA with Brain on a two player 21 second run. And Chambers just did it one play and we're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good <Goodbye. Sorry. laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm such a menace. <laughs> E3M2. E3M2. This is also one of the ones that we didn't really improve, so it's kind of the standard route, I guess. Yeah. It's still a cool demo. Yeah. Just being a trigger. Yep. Yeah. Just left here to grab the health. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's actually needed. Yep. And then this boost, this grenade setup is actually really cool. Bounces off both the walls. Backwards. Oh, that's deliberate, is it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. No. To land right there. That's so cool. I didn't realize you had to do that little double, double bounce. Yeah, I think it's needed. We Even did have with strat. like, we did have another strat actually. Okay. Uh, setting up a nade here, but then you take too much damage and you can't grab the health. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, you couldn't curl. You'd get stuck, wouldn't you? Yeah. Then you need a, quite a bit of health for like the next level. Yeah, but even so, I don't think we could get a twelve. Yeah. Saves like three four tenths, I think. Hmm. Uh, what were we gonna say, Mitty? I, I, I was gonna say the, the same thing, like uh, the possibility of 12. I think like even the, the trigger bypass strategy, oh, I yeah. don't think that would save time. And also like the ending here, like when he he's still having some air time here at the end when he's activating this door. So he's not able to set up for like a pre-strafe under it. Yeah. So it's a bit oh, yeah. slow there, but I don't think it's it would take that much time. Like it's mm. it's a point point one second at best I would say. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I think the best time you can probably get is like a thirteen four, thirteen three maybe. It's not really much uh, new techniques I guess. Yep. Oh, here we go. E3, M3. Okay. Yeah, this, oh. oh, God. Prepare yourselves. I'm sorry, Chambers, but I think this is, like, potentially, like, the number one demo. You think so? This whole project. Well, this and E4, M7. I'm sorry. Oh, E4, M7. I understand. Yeah, I think it's probably one of the best how is that possible? Okay, 90. yeah, I
She jumps really early here to not get as much damage or height. Yeah, yeah, and I guess people, like casual people, would just maybe it doesn't seem so crazy, but getting keeping the amount of speed that he does through this incredibly narrow corridor. Yeah, and hit the button is so hard. And hitting this button, this is just the one of the sort of tightest. Narrowest boosts it's sort of in ever in the game. It's yeah. just so crazy. He actually slides, which I didn't notice before. On the button. Yeah, he slides onto the button and then jumps. Yeah, yeah. And, and then he all the nails, does all those nails yeah. just barely miss him. No, this one hits. Actually, him. no, he's getting hit. Yeah, oh, he gets hit by that one. Yeah, yeah, okay, and then okay. he manages to make it down because of it. Otherwise, you would have landed on the ground, I think. Oh, so we even needed that. Oh, my God. Oh. Crazy. He needs it for, like, yeah, It's he's keeping a bit of height. Even getting Just up this enough. roof is so hard. <laughs> that... This is so stupid. It's and sliding so off the edge stupid. here. Oh, my God. Yeah, and we're talking about uh, like 0. 0.3 seconds of gameplay, but it just, uh, it's impossible. Yep. And then this is great as well, this setup, all these enemies get in your way, everything blocks you, it's all random, and... But he still manages to set up that grenade and then yep. do this, yeah, this boost. Yeah, is aptly named. What is it called? The Tomb Chain of Terror. Oh, Tomb of Terror, oh yeah, okay, yeah. Terrorizes you with its RNG. Yeah, yep. yeah, that's... And what is it, 0. 0.9? 0. 0.96. Yeah. Wow. While grabbing the armor. And While grabbing the armor for the next map as well, yeah. That's, uh... He actually hits a bit, uh, going to the door. Like right here. Like he bumps a little. Yeah, but he also like... Oh, he does too! Oh, look at that. Jump. Oh, well, he needs to redo it. This is... This is... <laughs> unacceptable. <laughs> yeah, unacceptable. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, that one's that one's insane. Yeah, it's definitely one of the best. E three and four. Oh yeah, that's a little oh, boost. I love this. Yeah. Lots of boosting action. Oh yeah, and then this end boost is this so cool. Dodging the ogre, oh my god. So hard. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. fires the same, this nade really early here. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yes, really that's actually early. very early. Right he he swim, doesn't stop doesn't at all. swim up there, right? Yeah, he doesn't stop yeah, at all. He's using the swim up, the plus move up trick. Yeah. And this elevator boost here is like, because uh, you actually, the yeah, yeah, the way you actually have to do it is shoot the rocket first before. Usually, the way you, you do oh. rocket jumps is you jump first and then immediately shoot the rocket. But this time around, it's like you need so much height for this one, you shoot it first and then jump. Yeah, that's the ultimate. Plant this Casey bunny hops. Yeah, he like barely makes it up there. He looks perfect. He looks so well timed, and then he like barely makes it up. Yeah, it's about as high as it you can get with a single rocket jump. Yeah, yeah. Stun that guy. Mm -hmm. And the backwards strafe. Pretty slick. As, yeah, like that. That backwards strafe is really slick. Yep. More boosts. Yep. And then this, yeah, this quad thing is pretty good. At eleven hundred speed, that's. It's so hard you to need, react as well. You need to get lucky. Yeah. Yeah. You have like you have like two tents to to turn around and judge where you want to go. And see, yeah, see where the ogre is. Yeah. I actually have another uh, egg double for this. Mm. Oh, maybe if this worked. Mm. 
Yep. Yeah. Seems about right. Yep. This is why I never wanted to go for this strategy in, uh, like, my full game attempts. Because this guy is a nightmare. Yeah. Yep. Pretty risky. It's so hard Better to react. Keep this safe. But also because of the next map. 3 on 5, yeah. It's a tough one. Yeah, E3 M5, yeah. This was my nightmare for the project. <laughs> oh yeah, the wind tunnel tricks are so All hard to those, get. Yeah, all these exits, yeah. Like the actual acrobatics and movement and everything is really not the hard part. It's, all, it's just all these stupid FPS tricks. Yeah. This one is fine though. Like, that one's okay. Trickier. Yeah. This is not that great. That's a bit slow there. Um, but yeah, the first bo the first boost at the very beginning is pretty slick. Like uh, like grabbing yeah. those two health packs. That's doing all that for this in order to save about point one or point two or something. And seven health. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and gain a couple of extra health. Yeah. But yeah, then this this wind tunnel, like having you have to curl into the corner here, and then about I don't know here, you have to hit the uh, F, low FPS button, and then just tap it just briefly. And I don't know, it's just so random. It happens maybe one in twenty times that it, you get a fast one, like a, a good FPS exit. Yeah, this one was almost perfect. You like barely get. Yeah, that, that, that's about as good as it gets. Yeah. And but do then, you also hold uh, forward into the corner? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think you and, have to. It's, yeah, you have to. It's kind of like the slow falling in reverse. Yeah, and then this you kind of do a little pre-strafe there as well, like a backwards thing to to maximize the speed. Like this is really fast going that that backwards rocket Oof. boost. Nice. It's actually tons of speed gain. I know, yeah, there. it's it's uh, that's about as fast as I ever got as well there. This thing this looks boost. flashy, but that isn't. It's not that hard, really. Yeah, it looks really just, cool, though. Yeah. It's awesome. By the way, for the more casual, you know, viewers who are seeing this for the first time, this is actually like a, a huge chunk of the map uh, bypassed by hitting this trigger uh from the bottom usually you go through all these wind tunnels and at one point in the map you're supposed to be falling down this wind tunnel and the trigger is at the bottom of uh, this wind tunnel to open up yeah. the next wind tunnel like right but along instead the we yeah 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 that's a good explanation exactly yep and then here's another Frame rate trick at the end of this wind tunnel to fall down here and not fly out the other end. And that one is only, I don't know, like you can make it more reliable by holding down, like by lowering the frame rate for longer, but of course for, you know, we, we are trying to get it as fast as possible. So you had to just hit the button just briefly at right at the exit. And that only works maybe probably another one in, five or ten times or something to get it as fast as it is there. So hard to max the FPS tricks too. Exactly, they're just, yeah, that it was, uh, I spent hours and hours and hours on this run. It's a stupid amount of time. That's, a that's the little, yeah, that's a little, another little frame rate trick. And then at the end of this run, I was when I finally got it, I uh, was feeling good. And then Jukebox said, oh, you exited with um, one health missing. <laughs> oh, I, 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 no. I, was, I was missing one health uh, <laughs> for his run on the next map. E3 From the fall damage here, right? From the fall damage here, because I, oh. I hadn't noticed that. 
because I because I had been watching the demo and I knew the number, but then I didn't see the full damage at the end. And yeah, so. Dang. Um, Oh, actually, I have a. There's an egg demo on oh, that yeah, yeah. one with a. It's not. I mean, it's just a, just a fail. It's just a point zero zero, which felt pretty good, as you can imagine, after spending so much time on this. The classic. Mhm. Mm but here, actually, the. Um, there's one really slow bit on this demo. Like you might, it must be oh, able yeah. to go. Like the exit right. here after this coming, this rocket boost coming up here. I do some sort of weird fake. I don't know. I just kind of failed that bunny. Yeah. Two hundred speed bunny. But yeah, damn. point zero zero. Damn. Lucky. But yeah, so then, yeah, Jukebox had already done E3, the next map, E3M6, but, you know, because I'd spent, I don't know, 30 hours on E3M5, I decided to do E3M6, uh, redo E3M6 instead of um, trying to do E3M5 again with one one more health. I just yeah. said, no, screw this, so I'm doing the next run as well. Oh, yeah, I guess we could talk about, like, uh, because you just mentioned this 1 HP missing and Duke already doing E3M6, I guess we could also mention for, like, uh, viewers' clarity that uh, everybody can work on basically any demo that they want, um, and it gets stitched together at the end, but... And the way it works is because we can add like initial parameters for like the start of uh, of a map. So we can add, I don't know how many, what kind of weapons we have, how much armor and how much HP we have, how much ammo we have, and things like that. Um, how many, even how many wounds we have left uh, to uh, to collect. But thing is, is that uh, we make sure to. Uh, uh match the stats so that it actually makes sense like we cannot yeah. you know uh finish let's say e3m5 in this example with like uh no hp left over but we start e3m6 with 75 hp because there's like there would be a 25 uh hp difference there so basically the exactly stats match all of the stats would make no have sense. To, everything has to line up at the end and makes sense like logically within the game's rules yeah That's it. thankfully this is like uh pretty straightforward with easy runs the yeah category that this is but like uh, it gets it gets pretty bad with stuff like 100 percent. yeah that's right the hundos. yeah yeah Oh, and speaking of yeah, technical stuff. As at the end of the next map, at the end of E3 M6, my, the first run that I did. There's another egg demo as well. Oh where, yeah. The first one I did, um, which was even I think a point point one second faster or something. Uh, but then I just didn't even pay attention and I just clicked on to the next level before the ending screen, uh, before the text and everything ran through. So I ended the demo too early and oh, yeah. Duke, Jukebox, who was like doing all the organizing and everything, just said, no, nah, we, we, we can't use that because we need the ending screen to be, you know, sitting there in order to have all this text running through and stuff. So I yeah. had to do it twice. <laughs> it is possible to edit, but like the enemies here would be like standing still and it would look weird. Yeah, and it'd be like yeah, it would sort of wouldn't be matching and everything. So it, it really it, that that demo is one of the easier runs in the in the project. Really, it didn't take long to just do it again. Yeah. Good start booster. Yeah, yeah. This boost also is really cool. All the way up to the sips. Yeah. Oh yeah, this, this one's one is really cool. a classic at this point. Yep. yep. 
Yeah, it's a shame that we don't have this one though. <laughs> this is tricky. This is oh, yeah, yeah, that's a, this is a tough boost with like not much health. Scrag's also getting away a lot. Yeah, that scrag there blocks you all the time. Yeah. And it's kind of nice. necessary to get this because like the movement there uh, above that lava thing. I don't know what's up with oh, that yeah. floor. It's full uh, of holes. It's bugged yeah. somehow. It's all edge it? friction as well. Like yeah. you have edge friction on all of these transparent kind of so ledges. You just, there. Yeah, you cannot do any reasonable bee hopping with no. this because like it wouldn't be too much higher than just regular running speed. Yeah, it's one of the more sort of buggy feeling areas in the in the game. It just it doesn't make sense, but yeah. And this little corner boost is pretty neat. Yeah, it's very nice. Humongous slope boost. Yeah, massive slope boost. Yeah, that's that's cool. Let's keep yeah, you could the... do more. You could do more boosts in this map, but we just didn't have enough health. Like you could, if you if you could save up armor or something, you could definitely add more rocket boosts. Or... Um, boost up on the elevator maybe after the, the weird buggy area like boost up yeah, like this right elevator this one here it would oh, be yeah. too much faster though right like only half a second i think yeah but i mean yeah if you could add let's say two more rocket oh, yeah, boosts maybe... throughout the map you'd definitely be able to save a second This is one without the uh, finale cam, finale text run. Oh, this oh, is yeah. The, the yeah, that's the where I just click through. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right, we good to go. Yeah. Yep. All right, let's do it. Uh, the seventeen. Yep. This be how old, how old was the eighteen? Like twenty three, twenty four years. One of the something, oldest demos. Something like that. It was one of the oldest. Yeah. Let me check oh. SDA. <laughs> I feel like it's around 23, maybe 22-ish. So, so, E4M1, easy run. It has been an 18 by Peter since 1998. Oh, my God. Oh, 1998. November. Yep. And when was... Uh, Honey's demo? 2020? 2021? 2020. Uh, June 2020. So it yeah, was. 22. It stood for almost 22 years. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. And this was only due to the discovery of the uh, water the FPS trick. F the water FPS mm -hmm. trick. Oh, God. Which he uses mm -hmm. twice here, right? He yeah. uses it at the beginning. Once here. Yeah. Well, Once both times when he enters the water. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I also have a 17 on this map, and it's so precise. Like, both mine and Connie's demos are 0.99. You need, <laughs> really? such, you need such tight lines. Like, the yeah, the... time buttons and everything. It's crazy. <clears throat> yeah, so considering how little is happening in this demo, like, all the little that you have to do, you have to yeah. actually do perfectly. Yeah, Otherwise, it's swimming, not be a 17. swimming. Swimming is one of those things that's pretty limited. Like you can't really save time while swimming. No. And cham Chambers, what's your best on Nightmare? Uh, maybe a point four-ish. It's is it that much different? I haven't played it too much, but uh. Okay. Too many enforcers in the way. Yeah, sadly. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, here too. It's mainly this yeah, guy. Yeah, enforcers are in the way. It's mainly this guy. Uh, that blocks the doorway. Okay. I don't think 18... they, they can they can give you boost in the water. True. <laughs> I don't know. I maybe seventeen is doable one day, but right now it's You're gonna be using golden eye strategies to get boosts. <laughs> yeah. So was this the first demo that used the water entry FPS stuff? Yeah, he did a video on it actually. Uh, to go with yeah. it. Right, right yeah, right. it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, and he I think that's like something he came up with. It wasn't something from Half Life directly, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, he just went to work on it immediately. I think it works in Half Life 2 as well, now, right? 
Like uh, Half Life. Well, not to the same extent as uh, as Quake, because like Half Life is like I think it's like hard coded to uh, <laughs> do like collision checking and uh, um, velocity oh, yeah. checking at like uh, at twenty frames a second, so like every fifty milliseconds. Mm. But I think in Quake, it's actually like every tenth of a second. It has to do that. Yeah. So it's even better in Quake than in Half Life. Yeah, oh, that's, that's interesting. I feel like. Except in Half Life, it can go through walls and water. <laughs> <laughs> like in Quake. I'm so glad we can't do that yet. To be honest, it would break everything. Yeah, yeah, that's part of what makes Quake so great. Is uh, I mean, uh, solid. Yeah. I mean, even in Half Life, those are very edge cases that have to come together. Because it's not only you have to be in water, but like e even if it worked in Quake, you would have to find walls that are paper thin for this trick to yeah, even work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Nice. Before I'm two. Mm hmm. So this actually beats the. Uh... Scripted runs, right? I think it was the main yeah. objective Thanks, to, to not do that. Yeah, that's right. There was a. Oh, that's a, that's old now. Fifteen years or something longer, even. Um, doing this that last exit room where people made a script to sort of zigzag through the air, not do this bunny curling onto that platform, but just kind of zigzagging in a way that isn't humanly possible um, to then get straight across to the exit well, but, but you managed to do it just as fast it. beat the time without that zigzagging sort yeah. of scripted I love how he, happy he is in the demo like he can actually like if you open up the console yeah, he's actually so happy about it that oh, yeah. he managed <laughs> really? to beat it without <laughs> unfortunately it's cut from this demo like uh, the same oh, okay. text oh okay yeah yeah but that's a good thing because I mean yeah the I mean, it was a different era of of Quake, but with the scripts and things. Um, but n everyone agrees now that they they should we shouldn't do it, shouldn't use them. So yeah. it's good to to get rid of that. Absolutely. And otherwise, that's just good bunny hopping, right? I mean, is there this 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 yeah. just sort of really good control? Is there much else going on in this demo? No, there's an interesting bit to when he enters the water area. Oh yeah! Right oh fingers? yeah! The head hit. Yes. The head hit. Here. Oh, yeah. Oh, he bumps his head here. Pushes yes. him ah, down quicker. Yeah, keeps the speed. Yeah, I found that ages ago. Oh no! Nice. Yeah, I love doing it. Yeah, and then you slide off. Do you use person. it in your full game runs, Muti? Yeah. Yeah. Especially because I start with E4, and the, and the Chandler is random, like how he's going to boost you. Sometimes he just decides, you know what, I'm not going to boost you at mm. all. Mm -hmm. So I just prefer what I do here is just uh, actually avoid this ledge here. Jump down oh, you completely. Land directly. Wow. Yeah, directly down. Like and then in you front just... of it? Or, yeah. Does it matter though? Yeah, in he, front of it. He still attacks the same way, right? So it doesn't matter well, if you're early on. Well, the, the thing is, if, if you continue a B-hop chain here, you're so fast that he is unable to uh, land a hit on you. Oh, oh I see. Yeah. Unless he uh, runs in front of you and blocks you, like it happened in my uh, record run. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, no. Yeah, this was the other trick to uh, improve the record for swing this guy. Which is needed. Just keeps him out of the way, does it? Yeah. Yeah, he goes to the left side instead of all the way around. Oh, okay. Slope boots, slope jumps. Yeah. This is all very much optimal, I would say. That's cool too, that jump and falling down after the button. That's yeah. like, that's really nicely timed. I, I usually debate this if this is actually like the quicker way because he lands on that platform, that hanging platform. Here, and I usually debate if that's actually quicker instead of just landing down on the tiles there. Oh, okay, it's, it's okay. Not, but I think it's like either the same or like landing on the hanging thing is quicker. 
I think it's faster to like if you keep some speed with this turn, you can land like over here somewhere, even. Yeah. Just straight onto the floor. Yeah, I actually have an egg demo, which I'll show you in a sec. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I've got in the nail gun here. Oh shit, that's. <laughs> you could get a boost from the nail. It is yeah. possible. It's random though. It's and the ogre as well. Yeah. Mostly the ogre. The ogre is like. It's possible to get a boost from the ogre, but it's not exactly necessary. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's cool. Now for the egg that, that was, was just one of those when I first saw that sort of continuous curl and the bunny <laughs> I, that was a trick that really blew me away when I first saw that at the end so this was the idea to, to save another second but we never really it's not really viable so you'd get this guy the ogre the fire grenade that would bounce backwards I don't think we can really see it so it hits the wall, the wooden part here, bounces yeah. back, and then with a well-timed jump, can Oof. skip that. Oh, wow. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and then they wow, that's and ha yeah, okay, that's, yeah, that's a good time saver. Yeah, instead of dropping here, doing a curl, and you can land quite far. Wow. I've never seen this. And the best I was able to get is a point two doing that. That's with saves. Um, yeah, but there is another trick to go with it. But you can FPS trick this. Yeah, and it goes through, through it. <laughs> no way. But it's so random, sometimes it'll give you. No matter how much okay. HP you have, and other times it, you can like go straight through it. Okay. With that wow. trick at all. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. 2025. 20, it's free. It's all yours. Yeah, easy. Oh, just yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah. What are you waiting for? Then it's up boost. Oh, gosh. Dude. <laughs> I never had a boost like this ever. It's a lot of Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Oh, my. So high. Hell. Yeah, crazy. You, you even got greedy and tried to keep the body hop going. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't expect this. <laughs> I didn't know that's how to react to that. Sign. No, that's the sign of the of a true speedrunner. Is like you you get the impossible trick and you're just like, yeah, come on, I'll just keep, I'll just yolo it from here. No worries. <laughs> oh, okay, E three M, E four M three. By beauty. Whee! This was so Huge. last last minute, man. <laughs> last, was... last, last, last minute. Yeah. Last <laughs> possible minute. Everything was done. The whole thing was rendered, ready to upload. Joe had done his recam re uh, movie version. Oh, yep. I even screwed up the movie because of this, but nobody have yet uh, uh, realized it. Oh right, like a I know, I know. match or something. I think I know. No, actually, uh, I, I, at the beginning of the movie, it says six players. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I told Sphere about it, but I didn't want to bring it up to you. Yeah. Because I, I decided not to redo the intro, because I don't need it. But at, like one week after I released it, I was uh, laying in the bed, and I just popped up, popped into my mind, oh my god, I fucked it up. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, nobody, nobody experienced it yet. Yeah. But yeah, tell us about it, Moody. What happened? Uh, how do I put it? I actually started like grinding the IL for this because uh, I think I saw Juke having a thirty-five on this map. Yep. I think he had a thirty-five, and I thought, hey, this is beatable. I think I, I'm pretty sure I can beat it. And then I was told, oh, so in the project there's already a 34. I'm like, okay, but maybe I can get a 33, because I think in my original 34, I got blocked at the end by ogres, which cost me like half a second, and I 
at least, and it was a point six. Okay. And I saw, oh, wow. and I thought, okay, I have to go for this. I have to get the thirty-three, and oh, I no. didn't think it was possible. But then, yeah, that basically showed me, yeah, thirty-three is possible on this map. I love this trick boost. here. It is amazing. I tried so hard to get one, this, and I never got it once. So one amazing. in a hundred. It's it's brutal how tight this is. Like, I need to be centered here too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, man. That's so cool. And just barely. And then the Fiend can also block you a lot. Yeah, I actually, like, uh, I got my original 33, but then I had to re-record it. And you can actually see the Fiend attacking me here. And they kind of messed up my lines. Sadly. Getting rid of this knight. Yeah, yeah, and it even Ju that lands on the ground, right? It doesn't hit it directly. No. It, yeah. Yeah, Juke used to. Uh, Juke, right I think there? he got a boost out of this, but I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah I right. think he got a boost yes, out of this. Yes, yes, he used the boost. Yes. Well, I didn't use the boost, but I did get a bigger boost out of the last grenade jump at yeah. the end. What I saw was was that Juke was like doing a jump here and he was having so much air time I realized I, I don't think it's actually quicker, quicker. so I thought mm -hmm. the best way to do is like do this wall hug jump again to uh, right here yeah so that I have less uh, height yeah yeah smart This is another yeah. great boost. Oh. This is extremely tight, like... Yeah. I'm a little bit almost too died. much to the right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, 8 health. Like a fraction closer and they would have killed you, I think. And then here, I don't know how I didn't get <laughs> stuck on that yeah. little flip <laughs> there on the door. Yeah, that's... Well, that's Very close. Yeah, that's, <laughs> Centimeters away, yeah. Uh, that was Damn. close. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, amazing. Yeah, and the story about doing that twice was that the on the first attempt you didn't use the grenade counter, right? You used the shotgun timing. Oh yeah, I used the shotgun timing. <laughs> yeah, that's that's something. Yeah, most most people like in marathons and everything they. Shoot kind of three, three and a half shotgun shots to time between when you fire a grenade and when it explodes. That's this kind of standard way of timing it. Um, yeah, and, and Jukebox, like a good teacher, told, <laughs> told Mewtwo to, okay, son, you, you have to do it again. And do it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, don't, use, don't use the shotgun timing. It has to look great. <laughs> yeah. And to be honest, it, I think it didn't take you long, right? Like, it seems like two hours like, later, like, you returned and was like, oh yeah, yeah here, here we go. You got the same this, day. Wow. Yeah, you Insane. got these unbelievably quickly. I would, everyone was just kind of in shock. Yeah, <laughs> here you go. Yeah, you had it all figured out already. It was just yep. execution. <laughs> oh, right. You mean he, he did both demos already and then just you know, pretended they were... Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. Like he was already in the zone, so he knew what to okay, do. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This uh, the start B hop. I think I was all, always like gaining like 0.2 seconds on Juke, just with like you know really in the flow. Yeah, and just hitting these uh, power bunnies. So good, that boost. Yeah, yeah. No, but that was great. It was. It, I mean, it was because you just beaten the full game record not too long before this, right? Like you were just yeah, I kind so, of yeah. starting to. You know, become the king of Quake or whatever, and then and then it was very nice that you were able to uh, join into this project. I chimed in last second. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, like, hey, that, <laughs> yeah. That was mom, dad, I'm on camera. Yeah, I want to be part of it too. No, that was nice. It was good. <coughs> Great stuff. All right, Joe. Joe's final masterpiece. Yep. 
Oh, oh that boost is amazing. Oh. Yeah. I don't nice. mind. I changed my favorite demo to this one. Yeah, <laughs> this is definitely up there for me too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I worked. I worked on it like for two weeks, as far yeah. as I remember. Yeah. So. Um, the story is that uh, E4M4 was the very first demo I improved in back in 2005. I think Jukebox uh, writes about this in the description of the of the TXT mm -hmm. because in in 2005, the beginning of the year, was the Quake Down Quick Light project uh, released, and uh, during autumn, the same year. Uh, I started imp started working on improving this one, but uh, unfortunately I can't remember who came up with the idea of this trick. So in the previous project, there was a fish boost used here, and the record was a 90 second run. And uh, I honestly don't remember who was the inventor, but uh, we found out that uh, with a perfectly placed jump it is possible to mine this gap it's so tight it's so yeah. far it's even yeah, is yeah, it yeah. higher the other side is higher yeah. or is yeah. it the same higher it is higher it is higher it is higher, it is higher. It is higher. so you you almost have to reach when you are at the top of your jumping pattern so it's very hard to reach but it's possible with enough speed yeah. and uh, back in 2005 i improved it and did a, an 18 second run and i think that was the first demo which okay. started this whole project but it obviously was never finished at that time yeah and then <clears throat> the other trick that was done here is the double uh, granny jump at the beginning from the fiend and th that was uh, found out by jukebox and he was doing the the, the easy hundred uh, yeah. demo i believe yeah that's such a cool trick he just offered me to to do to do a if e for m for if i want to what a nice and did you this grenade boost as well this one like bouncing out off the corner here this is that something so you invented cool. that's so cool this was found this was invented by me yes because i got uh, fed up with the uh, with the more than 180 turns with the mouse uh -huh. yeah that makes sense i've never seen a boost like this before i think like, so i just backwards. thought uh, yeah so i just thought i might try to bounce it so yeah. so it gives a boost from the fiend but it was relatively hard but, yeah. uh, <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but uh, oh, it looks easy. I don't know what you tell you about. <laughs> but I thought, like, uh, for a for for a project like this, all the moves, like including mine, should look, I mean, fabulous. Yeah, and uh, and I, I, uh, yeah, yes, I I kept the trick and and planned with that. So. Yeah. I actually yeah. tried this, like, um, this night boost, it's very difficult. The night is random as hell. Yeah, you actually sure. need him to do that, basically. Him straight beelining it to you and attacking you with that swing animation. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. The whole, that the first kind of five seconds, like the double boost and then immediately followed by the, by the uh, night boost. Yeah, the double boost was very, very hard because you, you you can hardly control the movement if you if you if you are able to pull off a very, very good boost. Mm -hmm. What did like you? You're, you're traveling with insane speed. Yeah. Do you have like a feeling for the success rate on the on that the second grenade, like the one off the night, the one that you bounced through the wall? Because, like in my experience, I mean, it was just the full game run. But that night is so random. Yeah. I don't know. Is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, the majority of the run, the majority of the tries went to the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to the... Yeah, that's a brilliant demo. It's so cool. Yeah, and uh, I had multiple 18.0s before this one. Oh no. <laughs> and what is it? 96. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was so mad. I was so mad. I I think I had an 18.012. Yeah. Oh. 
pain. Which is which is close to the zero zero zero. Okay. And speaking of like... point zero zeros, E four M five, right, Chambers? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's one of the most uh, changes, I think, despite being one of the shortest maps. Oh. Yep. Like we we knew how to like get a nine point three at least, but not an eight for the longest time. Uh, for a long time, this uh, this was a, uh, an, a, a subject of argument, as I remember, and nobody wanted to go for this, right, Chambers? More or less, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, Elgu and I, I think Elgu also tried it. At least I did, but the initial uh, Greenwich, because I think Jukebox showed me his uh, 9.1 or 9.0 demo. But uh, what I've seen is that uh, yours and also his starting granny jump was so, so fast that uh, I had trouble uh, finding the angle of the shoot. Yeah, it's so tricky. I tried to shoot it like as I'm like... Sideways. Yeah, like right. Yes, yes. Uh, exactly, that's what I'm talking about. It seems yeah, and it's... all your speed is going horizontally. You get almost no yes. vertical speed. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, it seems it doesn't seem as hard as it is in reality. Yeah. Well, it looks pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> and also to execute the the jump of the n night as well. Yeah, the last. Uh, this I, I mean, boost this is here. this is perfect too. Yeah, you need him to well, run towards you. Uh, Optimally, because obviously you can be anywhere pretty much. <coughs> yeah. Obviously, the further, cause the closer to you, he makes it. The further you can boost. And then of course, making this turn at yeah. this speed is so mm -hmm. hard. And then of course, landing here. This was actually the tricky part. Uh, landing earlier here means I have to fall less at the door. I had most of my runs would die because I would be airborne here still, and not being able to get into the exit. Uh, oh, you really? would bump into the door. Yeah, like I, I, I yeah. wouldn't be on the ground, so I couldn't walk fine. forwards. Yeah, yeah, too much air time, just sitting at the door, waiting for you to land. Exactly. This would you the... like skip the skip the wooden pole thingy? I land directly on the, the ground here. Yeah, and then then but then you would get too much air time, right? Yes, yeah, still. Yeah, but you would be happens. earlier. Right. Maybe it could work. <laughs> this is the length we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For quick, you are losing like one hundred speed units on the on the small pillar. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Yeah. I mean, the higher the speed in this game, it's like the more edge friction you get, yeah, and more friction from your B hops in general. Mm -hmm. That's why I would say, like, uh, when I was doing my E4M3 demo, it's like the biggest one of the biggest challenges was, and I think one of the biggest time saves that I had was because of the fact that I could maintain that inc like insane amount of speed from like the double grenade jump. And I could keep more of that in those long corridors down to the door. That's what mainly uh, made the 33 possible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I wanted to show off the, uh, the other ones of this map real quick. Oh, yeah. So this was like the original route, which I think the rabbit run uses, right? Except for this, uh, this new start. Okay. But they, you're supposed to fire a nade through this really tight gap and then get the quad. What? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so insane. Oh this, was the, this was the spread. This was the, the rabbit run, run, right? This no, was the this same is... strat as, as this previous project. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I mean, 
<laughs> that shot. It's just Insane. crazy. <laughs> And then I have Joe's uh, new strat idea here. Oh, just really cool. What? Okay. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. <laughs> it's so. How did you even come up with this, Joe? That's so uh, backwards. I, oh no, it, it never worked. I mean, this was slow. It looks cool as hell, though. Yeah, it looks cool. But unfortunately, even when watching the exact time. So the point here was to. To drop a grenade, and then do a double, and do a, uh, an additional boost here, because I wanted to boost myself oh. as much as possible at the beginning. Yeah. But uh, but uh, at point I get stuck, but still uh, I was so uh, high on time. Yeah. So it, you yeah, you already have to, have to wait the whole oh. time, the whole yeah. uh, length of a grenade. Eight wouldn't have been possible with this threat yeah. neither, so I stopped. So I stopped with it. Still looks amazing. That's so cool. I've never seen that. I think we could have gotten nine with it, actually, but definitely not an eight. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah, this like looks like a nine point five. Yeah. Yeah. Had we not got the, uh, the time save for an eight, this probably could have been the the route that we used. Yeah, the swag route. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. I, mean, that's... I love it so much. That's so good. <laughs> I just wanted to do something special so badly. Yeah. That's definitely special. Okay, four of six. Imagine yep. showing this demo to like beginner and he would just like start laughing at it like a maniac. Oh, no. <laughs> Shout outs to beginner by the way. I think this route stayed more or less the same since the previous <laughs> run, right? Yeah, pretty much. The the main feature, I think. Yeah, it's a twenty-one one. in TRR as well. Oh really? <coughs> I think maybe more armor is kept. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah, for the next level, I think that was uh, one of the goals. Like a little shallow boost here. Still, shallow boost is. It's insanely difficult to get like shallow boosts with uh, with quad on it. Just yep. Yep. A millimeter of difference, and the uh, the difference can be huge. I think we wanted twenty nine armor. Yeah, twenty nine red armor is what the minimum was needed, and uh, it ended up with uh, thirty one, which is not bad. Not bad. It's worth talking about this door too, it's really finicky. Like you need to slow down to get through, pretty much. Yeah. It's kind of like the door on yeah. on uh, E1 and M3. Like, uh, yeah, exactly. The one where oh, you're yeah. right. going straight across outside. to the side. Yeah. Like you I would could say... take a more direct route to it, but then uh, you would get yeah, you would always get stuck, get, get stuck on it. Yeah, I would say like the E1M3 door though is actually way harder than this one because uh, usually I would have no issues hitting this one, this this door trick here. Oh really? Yeah, but the the one on the E1M3 is like because the the spacing of like the map layout plus the spacing of the bunny hopping pattern at the start just make it a, like next to impossible. This one sort of lines up perfectly the way like you be hop right next to the door. Like the sequence uh, you're doing you have anyway. Space. Yeah. Mm. But the one on E1M3 is like extremely hard. I've tried so many times and I couldn't get it once to work. Nice. Be boost is beautiful too. That boost there, straight into the water, that's really cool. Yep. Does he land on the ground? No, he doesn't actually. No, 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 no he goes straight into the water. That's Clean. really good. Yep. 
All right, the final masterpiece this demo is bananas. Yep, this is most people's favorite, I think. <laughs> Rocket, Rocket Boost Galore. My favorite for sure. Shoutouts to Maxim. True, yeah. yeah the stra his strategy is so, so cool. <laughs> wow, my god. <laughs> just that whole end sequence is just. Wow. Does anyone know the. What was the time on the previous one? The RR? Uh, it was 34. 34? <laughs> 34. Wow. 34. This is oh, a 5 second that's... improvement. That has to be the biggest time save, right? Yeah. Yeah, one of the biggest, probably. Yeah. This rocket in particular is quite interesting. He fires... Lee straight. straight. Yeah, but also, like, uh, in front of him. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, the speed is, is, like, so big at this point that... Yeah. You actually have to fire straight in front of you. Yeah. In Defrag, they call this a Potsibiashka. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What is that we left over? It's like ground rocket, right? Yeah. And here comes the Maxim strat. That's yeah. so crazy. To absolute perfection. This here zombie's that little lip. This zombie's quite annoying. Oh yeah. And he's almost yeah. always blocking the button to be in shot. Yeah, it's always blocking it. I can confirm this. But this boost out of the water is like the hardest part of this strategy. Yeah. It's so hard to get this so clean. This is actually like perfection here. He throws another one directly after as well, down this hallway. 1800 speed. Wow. Actually, like <laughs> reaching the max velocity that, that Quake race. has to offer. Yep. I mean, he's on 666, so. <laughs> this is not like perfect per se, like this ending, but at the same time, you, he's not actu actually like losing any time. Yeah. Not really. It just looks a bit awkward, but it's actually not losing any time. Yeah, it doesn't get losing, any, perfect yeah. losing any time because he keeps pushing the, the, the rocket yeah. the firing button. Mm -hmm. And then you have to wait for the animation. Oh, yeah, that's true. Also, you this one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sometimes that uh, DK regu regularly likes to hit you. So it's uh, actually a common occurrence. This here, though. I actually uh, figured out um, a way to skip a jump here. It's insanely tight, but it is possible to like uh, skip a jump here in the uh, initial. V hop sequence. Was a new boost or? It's just like this boost, like optimized to the max. Oh. And the, just the whole movement. I think the I think I've seen that uh, in nightmare runs, maybe, like maybe in one of Cookie's runs or something, where this this uh, this pattern is a bit different. Like the the rocket jumps are a bit uh, higher, so to speak, so that he goes over some of the enemies. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's yeah. Cool. I think, yeah. Was, was I think it's like here. That. Yeah, it's here. It's like yeah, two, I think here two spawns there's and another DK. I think two DKs. Yeah, two DKs and two spawns that you have to get over. Two DKs here, and then in the back here, it's like seven spawns waiting for you there. It's not a really an issue in NR runs. Hmm. And uh, also the slope jumps here, like uh, going to the pentagram. Like this is actually like 
this is very tricky to yeah, uh, space these out correctly. Like, he lands in these specific spots. He yeah, cannot land calculated. too low. It's yeah, not the slopes. <laughs> Feels like I'm watching it fast forward. It really does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. Uh, there was just uh, there was like an instruction. Okay, we gotta we gotta make it look fun, you know, for the end. Make it look flag. And then uh, I did a few spins as I rocket jumped around, and that was about it. <laughs> yeah, and it, because... took, it took an embarrassingly long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there's like a hard to... limit on the speed that you can do this map. You know, yeah. you're just waiting for the. What is that thing? Like a ball, vor ball, or what is it? What do you call it? A uh, spike ball, I think. Spike ball, yeah. yeah. I and think so that you... act, like the entity name, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, cool tricks. Yeah. Put it on again. Yeah. What's the What's the highlight? Uh, probably the uh, backwards rocket jump for sure. Oh yeah. Definitely. Bulging all the fish. Oh yeah. True. <laughs> <laughs> Like you do, you do have to get a little bit lucky at the start because it's more often than not you do get like like the fish are kind of in your way and then you lose like a tenth or two and yeah. What's, okay. what's like the the lowest decimal so on this map? Yeah, this one. let's see. Um, actually hit the there are some. Tiny bit. Yeah, yeah some towards the end, I guess. Oh, oh right there. I didn't even remember that. Uh, I think the well, what I get here is point six. That's small, I think. Point but seven. It, it can go a little bit. Oh, both point seven. It can go a bit lower than that. I didn't do the yeah. FPS trick or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much the only part you have to optimize is the start. Until, yeah, uh, just the swimming part is. Until exactly. this point. Yeah. That water exit is so tricky for me. Like I don't know. How consistent is this for you? Oh yeah, you clip onto it. It's interesting, actually. It was, yeah, it's pretty awkward either way. Yeah. And, and Scrag wants to like fly in your way. Yeah, that too. Yeah. I think it works better if you like uh, you use the move up command. Like you can get that uh, instant ledge grab. Oh. Yeah, it always kind of depends. So in, in this place, move up. I think it was. Working better than just regular coming up. Okay, move up helps you get onto the ledge like faster. How does that work? Uh, I don't know. It's just the the fact that it's you know it's like max speed. Right. Uh, okay. I don't know. It, it, once Is it you like try because it, the, is it because you can't look up like exactly? I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe with a 10 frame per sec uh, trick at the beginning, you could go deeper in the water. A little bit, like, save a 10th. Oh, that's so. interesting. Yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe, yeah. Oh, not that yeah. fast, I guess, yet, but... We did, maybe. I did try that, but I wasn't I, actually... I tried it too. It just saving, saving really out. time with that. We well, don't I mean, really need to go deeper, do you? Uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe, probably not. Yeah, true. Yeah. I know, yeah, I know that I've tried it, but it didn't really seem to be helping me. Like, okay. I guess the trajectory was good enough. This yeah. Way. Okay. Nice. Yeah, it's a good run. <laughs> Definitely the most swag demo. It's yeah, it's, yeah, the most <laughs> unnecessarily <laughs> complicated run. <laughs> Cool. Very nice. All this uh, talking for a run where there's like eight seconds of it is <laughs> it's actually a replace right, yeah. the same time. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Yep. Okay, I think we are done with our demos. We're yeah. done? Yeah. yeah. GG.
GG. GG. Yeah, any any final words anybody wants to say? Uh, we, could... we could name our uh, number one demos, <laughs> which is probably the hardest thing. Ooh. That's impossible. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jeez. If I had to name one, but just really just one, uh, which one would be the best? E4M7. Yeah. I have to say E4M7, probably. It's definitely up there for me, too. I think E2M2 two two is higher for me. I think, two I'm, two. I think I'm team E2M2 as well. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I can put my own demo as well. <laughs> I would like to thank you for your company for tonight because it was a very enjoyable conversation. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, I had fun. Yeah, it was definitely had fun. Yeah, same. Thanks, the, guys. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Good uh, pastime for tonight. Yep. Shout outs um, to the guys who couldn't make it here tonight. So, Belgu, Jukebox. I wonder what Juke has, has been up to lately. Hope we will see more of him, perhaps. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And stubby, I guess. Cookie. Yeah.